What's going on, everybody? Welcome into Vikings Now. I am your host, Patrick Seatman. You guys see by the title, I have a Vikings Patriots game preview for today for you guys today. The Vikings play the Patriots tomorrow night on Thanksgiving, and I am very, very excited for this game. Just excited to see the boys back out there playing some football. And who doesn't love playing on Thanksgiving, especially that nightcap game? I love the nightcap game normally. We got Vikings. Patriots. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys an injury report, so stick around for that. Some key names on, honestly, both sides of the football for the Vikes and Patriots I'll go over. Then I got my five keys to victory on why, or I guess how the Vikings will come out of that game with a dub, a much-needed dub, I must say. But big, big news. We will be going live for the game tomorrow. I'm going to be working on Thanksgiving with you guys. We're having a watch party for the game. If you guys joined last time or last or two weeks ago's watch party, it was electric. It's a ton of fun. I'm going to be live for the game about 30 minutes before kickoff. So come out, hang out with me. We're going to be drinking. It's going to be a great time. We're going to be celebrating Thanksgiving, celebrating the Vikings. It's going to be great. It's going to be a ton of fun. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. And my goal for this video, let's just get 10 new subs. If you're watching this and you're not sub, go down there and hit that subscribe button. And if you are a new sub, just type me in the comments. I want to see if we can just get 10 of you guys. All I'm asking, 10 guys watching this video who aren't subbed yet. I know you're out there. Go down, hit that sub button, and hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow for the Vikings Patriots watch party. All right, let's start off with the injury reports for both sides here. Obviously, I think injuries, you know, this time of the year, they mean a lot. I mean, no, not every team is at 100%. But these two teams are damn, not damn near 100%, but they got some key key names out. Starting with the Vikings injury report, we'll start with uh, Andrew Booth. He's dealing with a knee injury following the Dallas game, and he is questionable. And then our big left tackle, Christian Darisaw, he's already ruled out with a concussion, which kind of sucks because that's two concussions in back-to-back -back games. I don't even know if Darisaw will be ready to go next Sunday against the Jets with that. I would honestly say hold him out until he is fully ready to go. Caleb Evans, he had the concussion in the Buffalo game. He's questionable, but I expect him to be ready to go. And now two big names for the Vikings, especially on defense, that we're going to need both them playing at a high level on Thursday night. Zadarius Smith. Zadarius Smith with his knee, he is questionable. He had that knee contusion against Buffalo. He, I saw him, he was kind of going in and out, and he did not play too well last week. It was his lowest graded game of the year, according to PFF, against the Cowboys. Again, not many Vikings graded out well against the Cowboys. Keep an eye on that if Zadarius Smith will go. I expect him to go. He is dealing with that knee contusion. And then Dalvin Tomlinson. We haven't seen him in, I think, five games now. He's been out with that calf injury. This is huge. He has been limited at practice the last two games. If he's able to go just to help that Vikings run defense, which has been awful so far this year, Dalvin Tomlinson, he is questionable with the cap. Hopefully we get him going and he's back because he could be huge. Justin Jefferson, he's dealing with that mild turf toe from the Buffalo game. He played last week. He's fine. He's been practicing all week. So Vikings, the biggest name I think that we should look out for if you're trying to see who's going to be active for that game, it's got to be Dalvin Tomlinson. If we could get him back, that would be a huge addition just to help this Patriots run game, which is very, very good. Patriots side of the football. David Andrews, he hurt us. He had a thigh problem in the Jets game. He, I didn't expect him to have a chance to play. He is questionable now, which I'm a little disappointed, not disappointed, because obviously I want to see a team at full strength, but he's good. He's a great offensive lineman for the Patriots. He's questionable. Should see him going. Isaiah Wynn, their tackle, he was originally a limited participant at practice. Now he's not practicing, so I don't think Isaiah Wynn's going to go. Other names, Devontae Parker for the Patriots, he's dealing with a knee, but... That's kind of an injury report. Before I get into my keys to victory, I want you guys to go down in the comments. I'm going to make this the pin comment on today's video. Predict the score. Predict the score of the Vikings-Patriots game, and whoever gets it right for our post-game video, I'll give you a huge shout-out at the beginning. you got to get it right, so get your comments in now. You're, obviously, if the game starts and you get the comment in, I'm not going to count it. Keeping it fair, this would be the pin comment on today's video. Go down there and predict the score for me of the Vikings-Patriots Thanksgiving game matchup. I can't wait to watch it. But now, let's get into my five keys to victory. I think the Vikings need a bounce back win here after getting absolutely boat raced by the Cowboys last Sunday. It was an embarrassing game. But Vikings-Patriots, week 12 matchup. Here are my five keys. Starting off with number 18. 
It's got to start with Justin Jefferson. Him in our losses this year. Even the Detroit game. I know we beat Detroit. But that was not the best performance. Those are the three games that we really did not show up, in my opinion. The Eagles game, the Detroit game, and obviously this Dallas game. Jefferson's been pretty shut out in those matchups. His stats and losses versus stats versus wins, it's kind of night and day. you got to get him easy ones early. You, I, I want to see them kind of use him more. You know, just give him a wide receiver screen. Give him a drag route. Give him something easy and early. Because, you know, Bill Belichick, he's going to be running that double coverage. He's going to be bracketing Jefferson all game. He's going to really try to get him out of the game plan. But just get him an easy one here and early. That's my number one key. You just got to let Justin Jefferson eat. He's going to be the best player on the field tomorrow night. Make him show it. We have a, I mean, we have a freaking Ferrari in Justin Jefferson. Let's drive that piece. Number two, match their physicality. That was the number one takeaway for me coming out of that Dallas game. The Vikings just got ran over. That was just a physical game from the Dallas Cowboys on both sides of the football. Their D-line dominated our offensive line. Their defensive line, or yeah, their defensive line dominated our offensive line, and then vice versa. Their defensive line, or their offensive line dominated our defensive line. You know the Patriots are going to come in and do the same thing. They got Matthew Judon. He's the sack leader. He's probably licking his chops right now, seeing Blake Brandel as the left tackle. You got to match their physicality. You got to punch him in the mouth early. This is a Patriots team with Bill Belichick. They're going to come in, try and establish the run early and often. Match their physicality. Play mad. Get up. You just got blown out by the Cowboys 40 to 3. If you don't come out here with a little pissed off attitude, I don't know. You got to match their physicality. Yo. You got to. You got to. You got to. I'll make this another comment down below. Because this is something I've been kind of talking about with my dad a little bit recently. And he thinks the Vikings are a soft team. He's a diehard Vikes fan. I'm starting to agree with him a little bit in the trenches. Do you think the Vikings are a soft football team? I hate throwing around that word soft. Because it's a little, not offensive, but people get upset when you call them soft. Especially football players. But in the trenches, do the Vikings play soft? Let me know down below. Type Y for yes. Type N for no. My third key victory, I kind of teased it a little bit earlier. Play mad. Like I just said, you just got boat raced by the Dallas Cowboys in your own stadium. 40-3 to when the fans were going nuts before the game. They wanted to see you come out and show out and give them a show. Play pissed off. I know it wasn't a primetime game against the Cowboys, but that was America's game of the week. That was a big-time stage game. There was only two other NFL games going on at the same time, and most of them were watching us until CBS turned the game off because the Vikings were getting blown out. Play mad. You just got embarrassed on your home field. If you don't come out with a chip on your shoulder, that's concerning. My fourth key to victory, Kirk Cousins. He's going to need to step up today or tomorrow night. He's going to need to. I think Kirk Cousins, I think obviously against the Dallas game, he was under duress the whole time. I mean, he had a, they pressured him on 63% of dropbacks, which compared to Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl, it was only around 33 or 34, 36%. He was under duress the whole game, but he still needs to play a solid, solid game. I just feel like Kirk, that playmaking ability, we always know it's not there with him, but I'm going to need to see just a little more. Run for a first down. Be a little bit more of a playmaker and not just a robot at quarterback where you're hitting your exact reads. Obviously, we love that part of Kirk, but be a little more backyard football playmaker in this game. You're going to need to, you're going to, need to make plays. This Patriots defense, it's going to test you. Kirk's a very cerebral guy, but I think sometimes... It's going to have to get the backyard football on this Thursday night game where maybe Kirk's rolling out and he's just got to make a throw instead of just relying on his reads. I think Kirk's going to either rely on maybe that slight athleticism he has. I mean, just like in that Cardinals game when he ran for that 17-yard touchdown. I think Kirk's going to need to have a play or two like that for the Vikings to get a win. And now I want to call two people out. That's my fifth key. I want to call two people out. Jordan Hicks and Eric Kendricks. These two were terrible against the Cowboys. They have frankly not been too good this entire year. I thought Eric Kendricks was great against Buffalo. But our linebackers, they need to step up and have a game. This Patriots team, Belichick's probably thinking, I'm going to run the ball 50 times. You can't let that happen. You can't let that happen. Send a message early and often. It kind of goes with my other keys with matching their physicality and playing mad. That front seven for the Vikings, send a freaking message to not just the Patriots, to not just your fans, but to the rest of this league that you can't come into Minnesota and just run all over us because that's going to be their game plan. It's not going to be rocket science. You know what the Patriots are going to try to do. It's going to try to get downhill, play action with Mac Jones, let Mac Jones just be the typical game manager that he is and that he does a very good job doing. 
Eric Hendricks, Jordan Hicks, you guys got embarrassed by Tony Pollard last week. Step up. Have a game. Be good linebackers. Stay in your lanes. Make plays. Every time you're in coverage, it can't be a free Tony Pollard touchdown this Thursday night. Jordan Hicks, Eric Kendricks, I'm calling you out. I'm excited for the game, though. If you guys are going to be at the watch party, t let me know down below. I'm super excited. Second overall watch party on this channel's history. It's going to be a ton of fun. Join me tomorrow night. And as always, happy Thanksgiving to you guys. If you guys aren't going to join me tomorrow, if you guys are listening to me right now, happy Thanksgiving to all of you guys. See you guys next time. Skull Vikes.